Hello again, pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade Bobcats. It's Miss Baber with your weekly guidance lesson. It's nice to see you all. I hope you're doing well. Um, I think you guys uh, on the schedule this week, it said that we were going to go over Kelso's Choice, but um, it sounds like people enjoyed hearing from Schubert again last week. So I'm going to push that back, and we're going to read one of uh, the all-time favorite Schubert books. Schubert is a star, and he, of course, is here to help us, and also my cat Lulu will probably show up as well. Hey, guys! How are you doing? Are you staying safe out there? How are you guys? Good. Glad to hear it. Let's get his hair out of his face. Boop. All right. So, let's read <clears throat> Schubert is a star. It's a stormy day in Bug Valley. Schubert and his sister Sophie are watching the rain from their kitchen window. They both feel mad because they can't go out and play. Schubert sings grumpily. Hooray, hooray, what a yucky day. Hooray, hooray, I feel mad today. And then he stomps off to his room. So he stomped off there. Sorry, guys, it's hard to turn the page when you're also being a puppeteer. That night, Schubert still feels mad. He refuses to eat dinner. I'm not eating those worms. I don't like fried worms. He refuses to do his homework. I'm not counting fleas. I don't like counting fleas. He refuses to take a shower. Ew. I'm not getting in the rain. I don't like mud between my toes. And the fleas are saying... Count me. No count me. Schubert wakes up the next morning feeling just as mad. Schubert continues to sing his grumpy song. Hooray, hooray, another yucky day. Hooray, hooray, I still feel mad today. Then he slams the door shut and heads out to school. At school, Crenshaw the Cricket is doing his job as a class greeter. He welcomes Schubert and Sophie. Good morning, Schubert. Good morning, Sophie. Good to see you. Whatever, replies Schubert without even looking. Sophie says, good morning, Crenshaw, and they share a butterfly handshake. Schubert's body is tense. He has angry hands, angry shoulders, and an angry face. He walks toward his desk and steps on Ed and the Earthworm's hole just because he feels like it. Edda screams from below, I don't like being trapped, Schubert. Please move. Schubert just stands there. Mm. He is not in a good mood. Mrs. Bookbinder hears Edda use her big voice and walks towards Schubert to keep the classroom safe. She approaches Schubert. Excuse me. As she approaches, Schubert moves his foot so that Etta can get out. Mrs. Bookbinder congratulates Etta. You did it! You used your big voice to tell Schubert what you wanted. Hey, Lulu. Then, then Mrs. Bookbinder speaks to Schubert. You seem to be having a hard start to the morning. Your shoulders are scrunched up just like this. Your hands are balled up tight like this. You grumped at Crenshaw's greeting, and you were being hurtful to Etta. Hey, Lulu. Your body and actions are telling me that you might be feeling mad. Schubert says nothing. You guys want to see Lulu in my lap? Hey, Lou. She's a nice kitty. Okay. We might skip a couple of pages in this book because it can get kind of long. And I know you guys are listening to a lot of read-alouds already. All right, so in the next part, she asks him whether he wants, uh, what type of cream he wants, and he says he wants cranky cream. Okay. Mrs. Bookbinder gathers the rest of the class together, and she asks them, have you ever felt mad? All together, they respond, yes. She tightens her fist and continues, have you ever felt bug crazy mad? Again, they all answer, yes. 
Mrs. Bookbinder makes an angry-looking face to go with her tight fist and asks, Have you ever felt oodle-doodle bug-crazy mad? Yes, the class shouts. Yes, yes, yes. We have all felt oodle-doodle bug-crazy mad sometimes. Magically, Mrs. Bookbinder softens her voice. Have you ever felt calm? She takes a deep breath and acts calm. The class whispers softly, yes. Relaxing her face, she asks, have you ever felt caterpillar calm? They all whisper, yes. In her most peaceful voice, Mrs. Bookbinder asks one more time, have you ever felt oozy doozy caterpillar calm? Class chants gently, yes, yes, yes. Which one helps you feel safe? Caterpillar calm or bug crazy mad? Which one? Most of the class picks caterpillar calm. Mrs. Bookbinder then wonders, do you know how to change from bug crazy mad to caterpillar calm? The class sits totally still. No one knows the answer. With a gleam in her eye, Mrs. Bookbinder announces, We are in luck. Schubert came to school bug crazy mad, giving us all a chance to learn how to become caterpillar calm. Okay, I'm going to teach you three ways to turn bug crazy mad into caterpillar calm. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Follow me and do what I do. I'm going to teach you draining. Okay, so. This is what she does to teach Schubert draining. She puts her arms out straight in front of her, and she makes her arms tight, tight, face tight, shoulders tight, really tight, but not so tight that it hurts. Hold it for a second, take a deep breath in, and let all the tension out. And we call that draining. And we practiced that when we were in school. Okay, so let's all, you guys at home, try draining. As Schubert and the class practice draining, Mrs. Bookbinder tells him, you're doing it. You held your arms out tight and let all your anger drain out just like this. Now you're ready to learn the second way to change a bug crazy mad into caterpillar calm. She looks at Schubert and she says, are you willing to help again, Schubert? Feeling more relaxed, Schubert answers, let's do another one. Follow me and do what I do. I'm going to teach you ballooning. So for this one, you lock your fingers together, you put them on top of your head, and you pretend your arms are a balloon. You're going to blow them up by breathing in through your nose like this. And then let it out. Slowly. And that's ballooning. Okay, so the class tries ballooning. Angie, one of the three ant triplets, giggled, the air filled up my body with love. Schubert adds, I like ballooning, I don't feel so yucky anymore. Good for you, Schubert, replies Mrs. Bookbinder. Mrs. Bookbinder holds up three fingers as she continues. Now, are you ready for the third way to change Bug Crazy Mad into Caterpillar Calm? This time, Schubert nods with excitement and interest. He's ready. You ready for the next one? Yeah. <clears throat> All eyes are on Mrs. Bookbinder as she pulls out a star wand with glitter and tassels. The third way to change Bug Crazy Mad into Caterpillar Calm is to be a star, S-T-A-R. Star means stop, take a deep breath, and relax. Mrs. Bookbinder touches the wand on Schubert's shoulder as he demonstrates. He stops what he's doing, he takes a deep breath, good belly breath, and then relaxes his whole body. <clears throat> good job, Schubert. Thank you. Benny jumps up and down and starts dancing and singing, If you're angry and you know it, be a star. If you're angry and you know it, be a star. Hold on, Benny. Guys, Mrs. Bookbinder, binder, we have a place in the classroom where you can use these three skills when you feel bug crazy mad. It's called the safe place. This bean bag will be the safe place for our classroom. So you guys aren't in your classroom right now, but I bet you have a safe place in your home that you can go. Maybe it's your bedroom, maybe it's somewhere else when you can do these three things. I'm going to try it out, shouts Crenshaw. He sits in the safe place and begins draining.
Next, Lucinda and Etta go to the safe place and practice ballooning. Look at Etta blowing up like a balloon. It's kind of funny. I'm going to be a star, announces Jubert as he tries out the safe place. It works, he shouts. I change from feelings of oodle doodle bug crazy mad to oozy doozy caterpillar calm. It really does work. Mrs. Bookbinder be beams with love as she says, Yes, you did it, Schubert. You used your star power. And the class gathers around the safe place as Schubert begins to sing a song. Hooray, hooray, mad is okay. Hooray, hooray, calm's a better way. Hooray, hooray, I changed my yucky day. Hooray, hooray, I am a star today. The end. And yes, you are a star, Schubert. Thank you very much. Okay, Schubert's going to go over here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed um, visiting Schubert again, and I hope that you remember to try your three different strategies for going from four, going from bug crazy mad to oozy doozy caterpillar calm, and that's draining, ballooning, and being a star. All right, it was good to see you. I hope you have a great week. I miss you. Bye.